might be. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have to. I've wanted to be a priest since I was five years old, nearly. Um, and I'm not sure why. I think when I look back, it was because um, of the priests. We had a parish priest um, who was a lovely man, big man with a big beard, and was loved by everyone. We all just adored him. So I would guess that he, you know, being with him, would have planted the first seeds of my vocation. It stayed with me, you know, as your normal childhood things, as you're growing up, you want to be lots of other things, you want to be fine and astronaut. But then, it all kept coming back to priesthood. So in the end, I, um, when I was coming to the end of my school, I wanted to be a priest, and I was quite, you know, it's been, quite, been constant for 13 years. Um, so at the, after I finished year 12, I did a year of engineering because everyone said you'll be young to go into the seminary but I was still doing while I was doing that I was quite adamant that this is what I want to do I want to be a priest and if I know I want to be a priest why waste time doing something I don't want to do I'm not called to do and I entered the seminary so I did six years of training in Adelaide I suppose priesthood has been more than I ever expected it would be um, and I find it great fulfillment and joy in my ministry. It's wonderful being a priest and the involvement we have in people's lives um, in key moments in birth, through life, marriage, death. You know, they want priest there and people welcome you into their lives so it's a wonderful vocation I think when we start out when I started out I, I was drawn to it but if someone asked me why do you want to be a priest it's the worst question I couldn't think of an answer but I knew that was drawn to it so you know starting out your vocation is just to get a sense of what you're drawn to is this what you're being you feel called to is this where your heart is drawing you and if you do feel that take the plunge and trust in God because the journey he takes you on with your vocation is greater than you can imagine you will change everything changes but that's part of the amazing faithfulness of God to those he calls